Hey, what's up, guys? First off, I want to say I'm sorry about the video quality, like recording my screen. I do not have my, I don't, I don't have um Cam Camtasia Studio set up to record my screen and have my camera on the phone. But you guys know what happens whenever I buy a new phone, right? I got the Blue Life Play, and we're gonna go ahead and root this. So I will post a link below to these two files. It is the Moto Chopper Auto Root that basically roots every single phone out there and PDA.net. Now, PDA.net is drivers, so get my mouse for you guys. Um, let's go ahead and scroll over. So what you're gonna wanna do is have 7-zip, right click and just choose extract. Open up PDA.net and you're just gonna wanna open it and run it. It's gonna install the drivers and that's basically it. Now for Moto Chopper, I'm gonna open this, got some, whatever that is. I don't know, I'll post a link below. I'm gonna upload these on my mega upload account because I don't remember where I got these honestly so yeah but <laughs> I'm sorry but I don't remember where I got these because I pulled them from like different places so um let's go ahead and unlock the phone hit menu well, what we're gonna do first is go into settings and we're gonna go down to the bottom to developer options and make sure that USB debugging is checked on and you don't have to do this but I went to security and I went down to unknown sources and I also checked that that was on. And then we're going to grab my USB cable that magically just barely reaches. And we're going to go ahead and plug this in to the top. You'll, you'll hear your computer recognizes it. Do not hit that allow on like I just did. <laughs> so what we're going to do is go ahead and put that off. And tap this. There we go. Okay, and then we're gonna open up a command prompt. It doesn't matter which one, just randomly open up a command prompt. Now, after you install the PDA net drivers, what you're gonna wanna do is type ADB devices. And if you get a serial number, like right there, then that means that your device is recognized by your computer and you can go ahead and continue. If you do not have the Android SDK installed, I will have a link below to do that. And I will have a link below to the drivers and everything that you need. So what you're gonna wanna do is just double click this run dot, this windows batch file. Make sure it doesn't open up in a different window and zoom in a little bit for this to focus or tap to focus. All right, and it says model chopper Android group. So your phone's plugged in, we're just gonna go ahead and enter. As waiting for device, it's going to connect to our device if you have the drivers. Device found, pushing. And this literally takes, I don't know, a minute. <laughs> Success. If we hit enter, it's going to reboot our phone. And zoom back out. So the phone is rebooted. We can go ahead and unplug it. You guys heard that I unplugged it. And it's turning back on. Give it a second. I think it's turning back on. There we go. So I unplugged it before it restarted. But see, we have blue productions. I mean, blue products. I can't even say it right. But I mean, all in all, it's a pretty nice device, I guess. I don't know. Um, there is no. There is no custom recovery that I know of. When I find a custom recovery, I will post a link below. And we're gonna open up settings. And see right there, we have super SU. Go ahead and open this up. And I previously rooted, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. What was that? No, it's just voice now. But once you open up super SU, it's gonna ask you to update the binaries, just hit continue. And then I downloaded root checker and it says, congratulations, your device has root access. I'm gonna go ahead and hit back. And that's basically it. That took what, I think a minute to run Moto Chopper and root our phone. But yeah, if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next video.